Hi, welcome to another program. Today we are going to uh, talk about the coming elections in Istanbul. As you might uh, remember, uh, the March uh, mayor uh, ship elections in Istanbul had been cancelled by the electoral uh, gov uh, body of Turkey due to some suspicious activities. Uh, claimed by AKP, the ruling party, uh, it's called in English uh, the Justice and Development Party. Now there will be two major uh, candidates running for the uh, mayorship uh, position, uh, Imamoglu and Yildirim. Imamoglu pre represents the JHP uh, and uh, Mr. Yildirim uh, represents for AKP, the Justice and Development Party, it's the ruling party that Erdogan has uh, set up. And uh, there are uh, the, the recent uh, surveys uh, already in indicates that Imamoglu is ahead of uh, Mr. Yildirim's uh, couple of points, which might change in the last minutes. So uh, there is a close uh, uh, race between two these candidates. And now we want to now analyze and talk about uh, is there any major uh, strategy that has been uh, changed uh, within these parties to their. Uh, Electrodes, and uh, if so, what does it mean for the future of Turkey? So, so let's start. Now, welcome again. And uh, as you know, there will be an election in Turkey on this Sunday, and uh, recent can uh, uh, stories uh, indicate that Imam is running ahead with a couple of points, which might change in uh, in the last minutes. Uh, JHP candidate Simamolo uh, has not changed his strategy. He has been still uh, proceeding uh, or avoiding any conflict with, with uh, AKP, the Injustice and uh, Development Party uh, leaders, and he is trying to hack or let's say uh, talk in a much more softened language, which he tries to um, gather all uh, people in, to, in Istanbul at this moment and try to bring solutions to the problems and he indicates that there will be no uh, misinvestments and uh, all the investments or the projects or the tenders will be done in um, a transparent uh, environment and uh, there will be no uh, or exceeding uh, budgets allocated to the departments where these will be, uh, I will say, audited uh, permanently. Now, uh, we see that uh, a key, a key uh, candidate, uh, uh, Mr. Yildirim and President Erdogan's language has been softened compared to before March elections in 2019. Uh, and there are some reasons, major reasons for that, and there are some indications for the future. Now, we see that the Turkish economy has been uh, deterring uh, heavily and negatively and uh, the, the unemployment rate is at this moment 14% to 15% especially in the youngsters 25 to 30% the lira has been uh, losing its strength uh, although the export uh, uh, activity has broken a record this was because of the uh, low Turkish lira against US dollars or any uh, foreign uh, currency, and that's why uh, AKP has been losing um, weight uh, or electrodes, uh, even with the combination of the nationalist uh, votes. That's why uh, Erdogan, has, Mr. President Erdogan, has uh, realized that uh, they need to change the language for that, the tone of the language. So they try to now open a new link with the, the Kurdish voters. Uh, in, the, in, the, in, in Turkey, not because of the Istanbul election also, but also the head uh, election, which is 2023, and the presidential uh, elections. And I believe he has already started the campaign for that. He sees that uh, the nationalist, uh, nationalism, or the language of nationalism, including the populist uh, language, will not uh, increase his popularity uh, amongst uh, the Turks, because the long-term economic uh, aspects of Turkey is not good. He has already uh, seen this. 
which means that we expect uh, a kind of uh, uh, tension between the US and Turkey due to the S-400s and also moreover in future we think that or we believe that Turkey is not going to follow all the um, embargo sanctions uh, put by US against uh, Iran because the economy depends on the trade activities and one of the major um, ports for Turkey and the economic activities for Turkey is with Iran. Uh, this already indicates that he is now preparing himself. So in order to gain his order, at least to uh, uh, remain uh, his popular popularity at the level at this moment, he needs to uh, uh, gain more votes. Uh, and that means that he has to uh, decrease his uh, tone of nationalism down while he will make another attempt in order to increase his popularity among the Kurds. Which means that, and we are hearing from the uh, reports and the news that uh, media that uh, he is trying to open channel with the uh, uh, HDP uh, leader, uh, this is the Kurdish uh, uh, national leader uh, or Kurdish uh, leader uh, Demirtas, and he wants to also uh, establish a link between uh, between uh, himself and also the PKK leader Öcalan. Uh, who is now in prison in Turkey. And if he will do such kind of things, for sure it's going to uh, increase his popularity within the conservative Kurdish uh, voters, especially in the eastern and southern eastern part of Turkey. And that's what he is uh, going to do, because we see that now he is softening his languages, and although he is still uh, against or he is still trying to put pressure on the uh, on the PKK and YPG uh, by military uh, forces. He uh, decreased the the tone of his language a little bit uh, to a more uh, I will say I will say um, medium level uh, from high level to medium level, uh, and he is trying to gain some uh, voters uh, acceptance. Uh, in order to uh, remain in, in the position and he has to do that because of the economy which puts AKP into a power in Turkey he knows that uh, he's going to lose some votes from the uh, Turkish uh, majority and conservatives including so he needs to replace these votes with the Kurdish votes otherwise he cannot remain intact in position in presidential elections in 2023 therefore he is now uh, following this path. Is it going to add some uh, electrodes in this coming um, uh, elections in Istanbul? I don't believe that will not happen quickly um, because he doesn't need to only talk but he needs to also do actions and the actions that we expect after this election is opening some links with the Demirtas, the HTP leader, Kurdish leader and also the, uh, the PKK leader in the prison. He will uh, try to uh, I will say uh, introduce him as a uh, major, uh, I will say, hub in order to negotiate with the state uh, to a more, I will say, permanent peace in the between the PKK and or which will end up this PKK thing in the region. Uh, personally, I don't believe that it will ever uh, end up because uh, the there are. Mm, lots of major global forces uh, behind this PKK and YPG in the region that they uh, pay for them and they do uh, some uh, dark and uh, bad businesses for them. Uh, however, uh, by uh, establishing some links with the, between the, the PKK and uh, this is going to be uh, seen as a very, uh, I would say, constructive uh, attempts by the Kurdish uh, conservative people and that might increase his popularity within the Kurdish uh, society or population which is going to decrease the numbers of voters or electors within the uh, CHP uh, in future and which is going to increase his popularity uh, for the 2023 uh, elections in Turkey. So that's a possible scenario and we see uh, while he's softening his uh, tones uh, in the speeches, uh, we believe that uh, President Erdogan is going to appreciate this path in future because the economy is going to be bad, that's uh, more or less granted. He doesn't have the tools or the ability to uh, recover it, the economy. That's why he needs to soften his uh, 
ton of his speeches and he has to set up a kind of a bridge between himself and the Kurdish conservatives and this can be done by two actors in the in the region which is um, the, PK, uh, the PKK leader in the prison Öcalan and then also with the uh, Demirtaş the HDP leader also in the prison uh, we will uh, close and monitor all these developments for you and we will report accordingly uh, if there is any major change in the, in the, in the strategy of AKP uh, in, in the future. Uh, if you like the video, uh, there is a like button underneath, please uh, press uh, like it, uh, we will appreciate and also you can uh, subscribe our YouTube channel, uh, we will also appreciate that uh, so you can, uh, you can be informed about the latest videos that we are putting in our channel so you can uh, start watching immediately. Thank you for watching and for your support. Have a nice day. Bye.